Hello and welcome to another Ice Tech FAQ from Manitowoc Ice. My name is Josh Kopadlo. I'm a technical trainer here at the Factory Training Center in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to cover the water in and water out, also known as the drain connections, on our machines. I see a ton of tech support calls come in for this. In particular, this little red plug that we'll cover here in a moment. Um, everything that I'm going to cover today can be found in your installation, operation, and maintenance manual that comes with this machine. In particular, you're going to be in section two under installation, and I'm on the water supply and drain line sizing connection page to start. For this first example today, we're going to be using a self-contained air-cooled machine. We're going to simply first be talking about the ice making water on this machine. Then we're going to go out to the lab and take a look at a water cooled machine so we can see the other water connections that you might have. This is the most common machine that is sold is this style. So that's why we're starting with this. You see here the white sticker. This is where your ice making water is going to go in and any dump water or drain water is going to come out here. The potable water inlet is a 3 8 female pipe thread socket. That's going to be your connection size for here. And then this one on the outlet is a half inch female pipe thread socket here. Your water drain size is going to need to be ran out of a minimum of a half inch inside diameter tube to get it to your floor drain. When you make this drain connection, this is very important and often overlooked and will cause you some issues. After you put your male adapter here, I suggest bring it out to a T and then as per the install manual, you're going to want to put a minimum of an 18 inch vented riser right here on this outlet. From here, you can use your half inch inside diameter tubing to get it to your floor drain. On the water inlet side of it, you're going to bring your potable water in on a minimum of a 3 8 inside diameter NSF approved tubing. You do not want to just use any old tube. Make sure that it is used for, you know, food applications as ice is food. And then according to the sticker here, you'll see we have an 80 PSI maximum incoming water pressure and a 20 PSI minimum. Last but not least, we have the mysterious red plug labeled base drain. We get a lot of calls, particularly about this red plug in tech support. What this is, is an auxiliary drain for any condensation that might build up on the inside of the machine, depending on your relative humidity, you know, your dew point in the space that the machine is at. Sometimes you'll get some water built up in here and it gives it a place to get out so it doesn't just sit inside the machine stagnant. This is a CPVC, half inch CPVC female socket. And that would just push right inside there. It's not threaded. You don't need to glue it. When you push it in, just put a little bit of silicone around it. There's no pressure here. It's really just like I said, some condensation buildup and a way to get it out of the machine. Run this drain line out of the half inch CPVC separately from the ice water out drain line. Do not tee them together. Do not connect any of the drains together, including the bin drain. You're going to run that down and you probably will never see water come out of it, but it's a nice reassurance to know you're not building up nasty stagnant water inside the base pan of this machine. So now that we've covered the three connections on the air cooled machine, we're going to go out to the lab and take a look at a water cooled machine so you can see the two extra connections on those style units. Okay, now I'm out here in the Tom Decker Memorial Training Center where we hold our level three factory school. We have signups available right now. We're actually going to be teaching another class next week. And a little Easter egg that I just wanted to tell everyone about that might not know about. This red sign here on our, on our wall of our training center, that is the original metal sign on the original Manitowoc ice machine building location over 61 years ago. We were able to preserve that and have that hung up here in the training center. I think that's pretty cool. Just wanted to give you guys that little bit of information. So now looking at the back side of this water-cooled self-contained machine, you see we still have the same three connections that we had earlier. We have the ice making water in, the drain connection, as well as that red plug for the base drain condensation drain. But you'll notice we have two extra connections here and a sticker for this one that says water-cooled condenser in and out. We're going to start with the inlet side on the right hand side and taking a look at our chart you'll see that the fitting and tubing size is dependent on the pounds capacity of this machine. So if we're between a 300 up to a 1200 pound machine you're going to have a 3 8 inch female pipe thread inlet 
if you're between the 1500 to 1800 pounds, you're going to have a half inch female pipe thread. The condenser water drain size is the same no matter what size machine you have. That is going to be consistently a half inch female pipe thread and you're going to use a half inch minimum inside diameter drain line in order to get the water to flow out of this condenser. Hopefully that cleared up some questions that we commonly get about the drain connections in specific that little mysterious red plug that we receive a lot of calls on. If you have any more issues, don't be hesitant to give us a call at tech support and we'll be glad to help you out with anything you need with any of our machines. Again, my name is Josh Copadlo, technical trainer here at the Factory Training Center, and I appreciate you tuning in for another Ice Tech FAQ. Like and subscribe, leave a comment for what you want to see on the next video, and we'll see you later.